Hello, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm here to do my July completions. I will show you some works in progress, but I'll talk about those later. I just want to first just go outside and show you the completed t-shirt quilts that I made for a customer. And then we'll talk about later in the video, maybe even on a different day, the things that I'm working on during the month. So guys I'm outside and I am on a hilly part of my lawn apparently because I can't get the camera straight or it's either crooked on the tripod so please forgive the crookedness but I'm just coming to show you the three t-shirt quilts that I made for my customer that they were not in any hurry for them they wanted them by the end of July early August so it is the end of July still got a full week of July left so these quilts are now all completed and this is the one that's the music quilt it's for uh, the mom and I am going to take you up close so you can see some of the quilting and I use the panto call music symbols on this particular quilt and it's going to be very hard to see black on black but uh, the symbols are there. I'm not sure exactly what's showing up. I know I can see one there up under Jersey Boys, but it's very difficult to see. And this one was my favorite. I actually did this one scrappy. And then the other ones I had like a focus theme fabric. And so that's what I used on it. On the back of the quilt, see make sure I can, you can see <laughs> okay then so you can see the stitching a little wait a minute my um so my um on the back you can see the stitching a little bit more it's just a very loose music symbol panto it's an edge to edge so let's go on to quilt number two so quilt number two is the cardinals quilt and on this one they use three tiles with five shirts and this one I did have the Cardinals theme fabric and so I went ahead and used that in here and you can see where I had to build up some of the blocks especially on the tiles because they were not wide enough but I love the panto stitching on this just gorgeous it's called just baseball edge to edge or border to border it could be border to border but I think it's edge to edge but just gorgeous quilting here again the back is same type of fabric I used on all of them actually this is the fabric that I did the wash um, softening video with and I'll try to link that up at the eye above so you can't hardly see much because I used red thread on that so it's blending in very well so here is our third and final t-shirt quilt and on this one I had all my shirts I was able to cut them the same size I didn't have to build anything up however they did have some 
patches and I'll show you the patches up close they actually have five I used one on the label as well and so that took up a little bit more time and on this one I used the panto call hockey border to border and you can kind of see the quilting it's got hockey players puck and a, a hockey player a puck you can kind of see his skate over in this area there <laughs> gloves sticks whoops but let me show you the back well let me first show you the patches I had to make this block here and then I quilted this entire quilt because I didn't want to put my long arm through these particular patches and then I once it was all quilted then I went on my long arm I straight stitched and then I zigzagged around the edges on the patches on the back we have the blue same fabric <laughs> and you can't see any stitching again because the thread just really matches and then the last emblem I actually put here on the label and I just did a straight stitch because I had to do that by regular sewing machine so that one didn't get as much stitching as the one on the front which will get more wear and tear I think so so we're gonna go ahead and end this segment right here and I'll come back and um, show you all what I finished or what I'm working on for the rest of the month so I started out my month working on finishing up those t-shirt quilts that I made for my customer. I had the Cardinals quilt, hockey quilt, which is the St. Louis Blues, and then also musical quilt. I did forget to show you the back of the quilt where I actually did the binding by sewing machine. And so I will make sure that I show it to you in a quilt that I'm going to have on my deck today. So I have some of the machine quilting that you can see and then I also have the finished project showing you up close shots of the actual machine quilting that I did. Here I wanted to show you guys that I did start the GE Designs project for the end of June and um, I didn't get it finished but these are the blocks and I just stopped working on it because I wanted to get the ruler, get her Stripology XL ruler and so I just got that yesterday and so I thought that I would do that I did order it on Amazon I'll leave a link for you guys if you're interested I'll put it in the description box for you so I'm just working on blocks I don't know I'm thinking maybe I'll make 16 blocks I'm not sure at this point right now I have eight blocks done and so we'll see how many more of these blocks that I do Hi guys, I forgot to mention also that I, this month I was featured on Quilt Easy's website as an affiliate and an educator for them. And I just wanted you to check out their products if you're interested in getting computerization on your long arm system. I think it's a great system. Also, if you go over there, just let them know that T-Quilt sent you as well. So I will show you the quilts that I have for you to see. So this is my patriotic quilt that I am actually giving away. <laughs> I actually sewed on this 
doing the Saturday live sewing chats and I think I worked on it about three weeks because I just sewed on it just doing the chats and so I now need to soften a quilt backing for it I'm gonna use blue and then use that extra fabric from the blue backing as my binding on this quilt so this is my quilt top my white or is plain and my reds are all scrappy rectangles and then I also have the scrappy stars over here as well so that's it for this uh, so far and I'll hopefully show it to you in August completed now I'm going to show you my last project for this month this is my simplish quilt I have named it simplish facet and this is from the fabrics that Judy Judy sent to me when she won the raffle quilt that I gave away last year for my 10 years on YouTube she sent me this fabric from Missouri Star so the only fabric that I purchased is the light grunge here with a dab of purple in it here and there and then also I had to use some Kona cotton for my binding because I had enough of the Motabella solids that she sent me to do the sashing inside the quilt but not for the binding also while we're up here I love this panto it's called Batik it is simply gorgeous and again this is that quilt that I had uh, started and then I had to take off my machine when it malfunctioned that Kevin took out say five rows of stitching easily it was easily five rows <laughs> and uh, that was a big job and so now I got the job now of cleaning off all the lint and stuff but I figured I'll wait until after I got it shown out here since it was going to be in the lawn on the back of the quilt uh, you can see a little bit of the lint and stuff that I've got to peel off and also here is my quilt label that I did I know my shadow is over this and I'm so sorry but I don't have any way of showing it to you and it's just so funny that when I bring out floral bright quilts flies and stuff think that it's real nectar for them <laughs> So guys, that's it for this month. I went to the Iowa shop hop, so I didn't, I have a week where I didn't do any sewing at all. So we're gonna get back busy. I got some customer quilts to quilt. I would like to quilt the red, white, and blue quilt, and then maybe some other quilts of my own, but we'll see where I go. And then we also have to start a new project for Saturday live sewing chats. See you all next month. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, T-Quilters. Stay blessed.